Okay, here are the mind reading cards. You have four cards and our wonderful assistant in the studio, Tom, he's going to pick one of the pictures. Just look at it. Don't tell me what it is. Take a look at one of the pictures and just let me know that when you have selected one. Okay. Have you selected one? Mm, yes. Perfect. So I'm going to take these cards up and I'm going to shuffle them. All right. And all I want you to do is to tell me as to whether or not you have seen your picture on the card or not. We'll take a look at this. Is your picture on that card, yes or no? Yes. Yes, I'll place the card down over here. Is your picture on the card, yes or no? No. No, I'll place it down over here. Is your picture on the card, yes or no? No. I'll place it down over here. Is your picture on the card, yes or no? No. No, I'll place it down over here. Now using just a little bit of mentalism and thinking, I want you to focus on your card. Concentrate. Do you have a picture of your picture in your mind? Yes, I do. Yes, you do. Ah, I see it coming clearly now. You have picked the fork. Yes. Absolutely. Perfect. Thank you so much. And that's the mind reading cards. The mind reading cards, the explanation. You're given four props, four circular cards, each with different pictures on them. On the front, on the back side of the card, you have the four different, each of them has different pictures. On the front side of the card, you have the master magician. And you'll notice that there are different cards. One ace, one, two, three, four aces, one, two aces, one, two, three aces. Each of these cards represents one, two, three, four. Each of the pictures are each represented by a different number. For example, the spoon is number one. Number two is the pomegranate. There's two sides. Number three is the pumpkin. If you look very closely at the pumpkin in the vine, there's a number three. That's number three. Number four is the fork. Number five is the, where are you now? The lime. If you look, there are five pieces of the lime. Number six is the orange, where there's one, two, three, four, five, six little segments. Number seven is the spoon. Number eight is a potato. If you look at it, it almost looks like a number eight. Number nine is the eggplant. And if you look very closely, there's a number nine drawn on the eggplant. And number 10 is the grapes, because there's 10 different grapes. So this is a simple math trick. In our demonstration, our volunteer picked the fork, which is number four. When I picked up all four of the cards, and I shuffled them up, I turn them so that the master magician is showing. And I turn over a card and I say, do you see your picture, yes or no? And he said, no. So this, I put it over on my right hand side, face with the master magician face up. Number two, no again, so I put it over there. Number four would be the next card I'd look at, and when he says yes, I put it over here. And number three, I look and he said no again, I put it face up. Now all I have to do is add up all the cards. One, two, three, four aces, comes to the number four. That's the fork. You have to memorize the numbers, and this is easy to do. If he would have picked a different number, the numbers here, when he said yes to to other pictures, the number of aces would have added up to that number. And that's the explanation of the mind reading cards.